today we're going to make the best chicken curry that you've ever made, ever. 100% guarantee or your money back. How you doing everyone? Right, chicken curry today. Really nice and easy, really beautiful. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, let's get started with our chicken. Now what I've got here is some chicken drumsticks and you can see what I've done. I've just cut that little bit there off. They're just nicer, I find, in a curry or in a sauce rather than the whole drumstick. I've got about 14 there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get over to the cooker and we're just gonna fry these off first. Okay, so pan on, heat's on, kind of, you know, medium. Got some oil in there, I'm using a uh, sunflower oil, could be using something else if you wanted. I'm gonna go for a tablespoon of cumin seeds. And as you can see, they're just doing their thing in that oil. Just a few seconds, they'll infuse that oil, give it a lovely flavor. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in our little drumsticks. And we're gonna cook these for about six or seven minutes. Okay, so they've got a nice bit of color on them. We're gonna take them out now. Now, by, by the way, I'm using these drumsticks, but you can be using, you know, a whole chicken that's cut into parts, any type or any cut of a chicken you want. Now, this chicken is probably not cooked all the way through, but like I say, the purpose of this is just to get some colour on it with that jeera or the uh, cumin seeds. And then what we're going to be doing is cooking it again further a bit later in the process. So out they come, set aside, let's move on. I'll go and show you some other stuff now. Okay, look, there's our chicken set aside. Let's take a look at this stuff for the next step. So I've got here two tomatoes, decent sized tomatoes. Try and use a nice ripe tomato. By the way, all of the ingredients amounts will be in the text below. One onion sliced, one tablespoon garlic ginger paste, fresh chilies, up to you. But I've got like sort of four or five in there, maybe a tablespoon, bay leaves. And then here, as always, I always call this the big four. If you're regular to the show, you're gonna know about this. So this is equal parts, one teaspoon each of cumin, chili, coriander, and turmeric. Let's get back to the cooker. Okay, so I'm going back into the same pot got those cumin seeds in there and a bit of oil. We've got some lovely flavors there, so I don't want to wash that and waste it. Let's start off by putting in that bay leaf and onion. We've got a fairly lively heat now. I'm gonna go for about three minutes. Okay, so these onions are just taken and changing color. We're now gonna add our garlic ginger paste. One tablespoon of that. That little mix. Garlic ginger paste is a 50 50 mix of garlic and ginger that's pureed up. You can buy it in stores in jars or you can make it yourself. We always make it ourselves and we use tons of it here. A little bit of salt. Yeah, if I remember, I'll leave the link for garlic ginger paste at the end. Let's get in our fresh chili. We're now going to add in our tomatoes. Try and use a nice ripe tomato, like I say. And our powders, let's take one more look. Now, if you wanted, you could just be using a curry powder mix you already have. I find this to be so much better. Equal parts, one teaspoon each of cumin, chili, turmeric, and coriander. In that goes. I'm now going to add a little bit of water. Staying on this fairly high heat. Let's go for about five or six minutes. What we want is those tomatoes to really, really break down. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, so look at that. That's where you want to be. Those tom tomatoes are really broken down. Now, I got a lot of moisture from my tomatoes because they were very juicy. If you didn't, 
then you can just add some water. But I've got plenty there, so no need for me. Right, we're now gonna put in our chicken. Let's get our chicken back in there. Give that a little mix. We're gonna get a lid on this. Nice low heat. About eight, nine minutes. Okay, off goes the heat. Let me get this lid off. This is gonna be piping hot, lots of steam. One second. A look at that. That is absolutely marvellous. I am loving that. I'm loving, loving, loving it. I'm going to finish this off with a little pinch or two of garam masala powder. A nice finishing powder there. And some fresh cilantro or coriander. And we're done. That is beautiful. I hope you enjoy that. Do let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you've made any adjustments, added a few bits and pieces. Always interested to know some stuff. We're all learning here. That is wonderful. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out all the social media and all that stuff, please. We'll see you soon. Lots of chicken curry love.